Okay, so you're like propped up right now on a pillow. So I have a little bit of a confession to make. I am a closet anxiety ridden mom, like really bad. Sydney woke up with a cold yesterday. She woke up with a stuffy nose. I'm calling it a cold because it seems kind of like a cold. She woke up with a stuffy nose, sounded a little bit congested, and I flipped out. I took her temperature immediately, and she had just woken up, mind you, and she woke up a little bit slow and a little bit later than normal, and I took her temperature, and it was 99.2, and it's always like 98 something, like never, never, which is, I know, it's not even a fever, it's fine. Um, but I panicked and it was literally, she had just woken up. She was coming out of her sleep sack and her fleece pajamas. And that's probably why she was hot. But she does have a stuffy nose. And then last night, but she's acting fine. <laughs> you know, crazy. And then last night I was like texting my friend, worried about her breathing while she was sleeping. Is she old enough to breathe through her mouth? And yeah, so I literally, I freak out over the littlest things, but with everything going around, I feel like I have reason to be able to freak out. But no, I'm a closet, like worry wart, like really, really, really bad. I make mountains out of ant holes all the time. She had a runny nose and I was like, oh my God. Is anyone else? I mean, I know I'm not alone and I know it's just, you know, a little cold, but like, I know I'm not alone, right? Yeah, and I take her temperature like at least three times a day and then I'll check my forehead and then I'll check hers. And then if the forehead one seems like it's a little high, then I'll do the armpit one. I'm bad. One time she had a diaper rash and it was like little, little bumps. And she gets a little bit of diaper rash when she's teething. And then I also switched to baby dry diapers for overnight because I had a pack of those and I ran out of her swaddlers. And those give her a diaper rash like instantly. And I had convinced myself that she had some rare disease from like the 1900s, the early 1900s, 1800s, and it was, was, you know, it was bad. Always gotta be right next to mama. Oh, we took one sock off. Hey, silly girl. What? That was freaky, you guys. My phone just went off. I said, hey, silly girl. And then it, okay, this is, this is weird. Someone's having her first ever orange juice mixed with water. She's only ever had water and then recently some milk. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like, three quarters water, a quarter orange juice. I just wanted her to have a little bit of vitamin C, something, you know, to get in her system for fluids too. She's got a little bit of a cold. Um, she's got her first like stuffy nose and she doesn't really seem affected by it, but I'm kind of freaking out about it because I don't know, it's the first time she's ever had a stuffy nose and I know like we've made it past a year. So I'm very, very lucky, but I wanted her to have her own orange juice. You would think that I'm like some natural, holistic healer with everything going on in my house right now. I, for the first time, am using um, an oil diffuser. And I've kind of always wanted one just for, I don't know, for calming, for scents, for, for whatever, not for healing, but whatever. And I got one for Christmas and I have this peppermint oil. And I thought that would be really good for like clearing up Sydney's nose or breathing. And then it smells amazing. I'm obsessed with, from Bath and Body Works, the eucalyptus mint scrub. And it smells just like that. And this one, it has like a Bluetooth and lights and I just have it on the mist and the light setting. And I put some drops of the peppermint oil in it and it smells absolutely phenomenal, like a spa. Who knows if it will actually even do anything at all, but uh, it smells good, so why not? And then way over there, I have the cool mist humidifier going. It looks like it's near the wires, but it's really not that close. So yeah, I went to Target and I picked up, I don't know, some Zarbi's like chest rub, just in case she develops 
like a cough knock on wood or she's super congested I can rub that it says from for baby um two months plus on it so I could rub that on her chest if she's you know super congested tonight but hopefully I won't need to use it at all and what is she doing licking my tv stand she's acting completely fine I mean yeah yeah Oh, Sydney, she never keeps her socks on either. I always put socks on her, but she takes them off. She's acting completely fine. She's just congested, congested in it. It just worries mama with everything going around. Sydney just had the biggest bowl of oranges and strawberries with breakfast and blueberry whole grain pancakes. And I'm already like taking her temperature like four different times. If she had a hangnail, I'd be like, oh my God, they have to amputate her finger. Like I know there are real problems in this world, but I panic so much when it comes to Sydney. Like I'm always worried that she's gonna be sick. Is she coughing? But with all this flu and cold and pneumonia and everything going around, knock on wood, I'm just I'm like super, super on edge. But yeah, she's clearly fine because she's screaming and squealing and laughing and ate her entire breakfast and knock on wood. I just yeah, thought I'd make that little confession. And she fakes it with her little coughing. See, she's fine. She might have a little bit of a congestion for like a stuffed nose, but it's super dry with this winter heat here. So I've got the humidifier on and hopefully that will be fine. But as long as she's not affected and doesn't have a temperature, I guess it's fine.